Big Blue Nation, what's going on? This is the loyal BBN fan. And I have just watched another beatdown or of our own Kentucky Wildcats. Um, just beat down, routed the South Carolina Gamecocks 76 to 48. And we did what we were supposed to do. And we dominated. We played defense. We had offense. We had motivation. We had attitude. And we played hard tonight. And I truly appreciate what I saw out of our Wildcats. Each game, from game to game to game, we are getting better. We are playing together better and better as the year goes on. And this is the right time for us to be doing what we're doing. I tell you, I was really, really impressed with EJ Montgomery tonight. I'm so happy that he was able to get a double-double tonight, and I really cheered for him when he made that last bucket. That was nice. And what a way to get a double-double by hitting a three. I mean, that, that's pretty special. I have to say, I really thought that, you know, maybe his confidence was down because the playing time wasn't there like he wanted to. You know, that's got to be hard, being a five-star player coming into a program like Kentucky and sitting on the bench. That's hard. That's hard for an ego. That's hard for a grown person. So you know it's hard for a kid, a kid who's always had basically what he what he wanted while playing high school basketball. And for him to have to endure some of the things he does, which is sitting on the bench and waiting on other players, getting in the bench, making a mistake, and then coming right out of the ball game. Tonight, I really feel like that was a huge motive, huge, huge confidence builder for EJ moving forward. And um, I look forward to seeing what type of follow-up game he will have come Saturday night. And if it's like this, and if he's going to continue, because you have to, you have to look at his play over the last couple of games, and you have to say to yourself, he's trending up. He's trending up, people. His game, his confidence is trending up, and that and that's great. And I like how you know it really started in the Vanderbilt game. You can see his confidence level only because of his playing time increased a little bit. And that's good because if you ask me, the more confidence he the more the better he gets. So it kind of gives everybody that 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 motivation that hey, we can we can play with this guy on the court. We can win with this guy on the court. So what does that do for Reed or PJ? That gives those guys a break. So come March time, then they their legs ain't all burnt out. Their legs are, are still somewhat fresh. And that's good for everybody because we're making a run for title number nine this year. That that's what we're pushing for. And I feel like the kids have they are buying in to that process more and more and more each ball game. And the tradition of the Kentucky Wildcats is we will play as a team. We will win as a team. We will lose as a team. And to see how these guys are starting to really grasp that concept, Cal's not letting them go. Cal's going to continue to fight that, fight that. and uh, I'm sorry, he's going to continue to push that, push that, and push that every single ball game, every single practice, to grind it out, to play together as a team, pick each other up, be motivated. And those leaders like PJ and Reed and Hagens, those guys are key to keeping our team balanced. I mean, I, I feel like everybody off our bench tonight came in and gave some good minutes, played some good ball. You had Quigley played good. Baker came in and hit some shots. Uh, Nick came in and did his thing. And, of course, EJ came off the bench and did his thing. So what more can you ask for when you have – um, when you have a bench coming off, give you that being that productive for you. As I said before, you're not going to find many benches in America that is that is has quality players coming off the bench like like we do. Just putting four guys in at one time, like they do on a regular basis, says a lot about who we got coming off the bench and what kind of quality these guys can truly give us on any given night. We just need our guys to keep bringing it night in and night out so we can continue to build this dream of winning number nine. PJ, he continued to do what he did tonight. 
I don't think he had a I don't think he had a double double tonight, but he had 20 points. So for him to still keep that, you know, those 20 points games still coming, that says a lot. I guess he wasn't able to get rebounds like he usually do because everybody else was rebounding. So he didn't have to worry about <laughs> he didn't have to worry about going down there and banging every five seconds and hurting his body and you know just it's so much when you have a collective team wanting to rebound the basketball. I cannot stress that enough. Tonight we made an emphasis of rebounding. When the ball went up, we made sure that we went up and we wanted to get that rebound. I mean, we had almost 20 offensive rebounds tonight. Who 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 does that, people? What what team gets 20 offensive rebounds a night? Guys, we got to be leading in the country in offensive rebounds. It can't be very many teams, maybe one or two teams if that. Who's beating us in offensive rebounds every ball game? Guys, that's crazy. That is crazy how we hit the board tonight on both ends of it. And just to see the, the joy. The, the, let me tell you this. Our Wildcats are having fun out there. They are having fun out there, and it shows. As you notice, we won by 28. I've already talked about how good we was as the team. I talked about EJ. I talked about PJ. I haven't even talked about Hero yet. Or, Kel, or, or KJ. And look, that's already that's already high talking points. And we haven't got to those two points. Reed, they couldn't stop him down low. He was an absolute beast. He got up and rebounded the ball tonight. That was good. It was it was just it was good to sit on my couch and watch a ball game like that. Because that's how it's supposed to be. When 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 a team can produce like that and be that good what they're doing, why wouldn't you want to be behind them? Why wouldn't you want to support them? Even in their worst times, why wouldn't you want to? Because you know when they bring it, boom, they're gonna bring it. And that looks good and feels good to us as BBN fans about just how good we really are. That is that is just, I, I have to tell you, ain't no, there's no better feeling than that. Just to watch your team go out there and perform at a level like they did tonight. And I can't wait to this weekend. Now, I'm going to enjoy this win over South Carolina tonight, tomorrow. And what, tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday? I'll be ready. And my mindset is, is already Forgotten by South Carolina. They're in the rearview mirror, and I'm moving forth. Let me tell you guys something, and this is what Cal, this is how Cal thinks. Cal says, and I believe this, and I heard this before, and this ain't my, this ain't me saying it. I can't take credit for it, but I believe Cal says, if I count you as one of my players on my team, can I count on you? Like, I don't want to go like you, 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 you. Okay, check in. Everybody's here. Now, can I count on you to do your job? Can I count on you? I don't need you to score, uh, Nick. That's fine if you score. That's a plus for us. But I don't need you to score, Nick. I need you to rebound. I need you to block shots. I need you to make people think twice about coming in the middle right here. Give them that, just give them that second of pause. To regain their, 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 their true common sense and say, I can't go down there with him down there because he's going to put my stuff up there in the stands. So I have to watch where I go at. That's what we need from you, Nick. And Nick, we appreciate you when you do that. You the man, Nick. Sophomore Nick Richards, you got it. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's just, it was, it was a great win tonight. I think it's something that we can continue to build on. And we know that it, it it doesn't get easier from here. KJ hit some big threes tonight, like that. Quickly hit some threes. I mean, I'm God. Everybody played Baker. I mean, everybody that played tonight that they did good. They did really good, and it was good. It was like okay, tonight's your night. And everybody says okay, your night. We we're surround you. We're gonna support you. Tonight's your night. Okay, we're gonna support you too. And you don't see anybody feeling like, well, I'm, I'm nobody's around me and nobody supporting me, so I'm not going to do well. We as a team, we we are supporting each other, and we want to see everybody succeed because when they succeed, then we succeed, and that should be the goal of any team. I don't care who who it is, but unfortunately, we are the Kentucky Wildcats, and we get that. 
We get that. That as long as we stick to our games, as long as we continue to do what it is I know we can do, that they know they can do, that Cal knows they can do, and the rest of the coaches know they can do, then they're going to be okay. They will be okay. And that's all that you can that's all that you're gonna ask for is just the guys to show up, give us their all, perform like they know they can, and we'll let the chips fall. We got on the floor tonight, we hit the boards tonight, we caused the turnovers tonight, we got offensive rebounds tonight, we got people in foul trouble, and we just played as a team. We made our free throws tonight. So I mean if if you look at it, it was the Everything, the defense was on, the offense was on, the rebounder was on, the free throws was on, we was on. And that's really how you have to look at it. And I'm excited, and you should be. So, South Carolina, sorry for coming in our house and letting us drag you. We know it's going to be a long ride back to South Carolina. Uh, but, hey, it's, it's quite okay. You just keep doing what it is you're doing, and uh, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, and we are, sorry about that, and we are always trying our best to destroy everybody, no matter who they are and where we play them at, because we are the Kentucky Wildcats. I am the loyal BBN fan. Follow me on podcasts, um, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Speaker, uh, those good places, and uh, just look me up, the Loyal BBN fan, and I look forward to talking to you guys again, and go UK, and great win, and go Cats!